In this class, we are going to learn how to generate Excel file in Oracle integration with the help of BI Publisher. In our classes so far, we had studied in detail how to generate Excel file or any workbook, particularly if you are looking to generate .xls or .xlsx file with the help of Oracle integration, then you might be knowing that integration doesn't have a capability to generate the Excel workbook or the worksheet. So we had studied in detail how we can make use of Oracle Cloud functions in order to generate the Excel file. Suppose if you tell that we do not have the required skill or the resources in order to make use of Oracle Cloud functions, but our resources or yourself are well versed with using Oracle BI Publisher, that is BIP Report. So you might be knowing that BIP Report is having a capability to generate the Excel file based on the data. So in our case, in order to generate the Excel file using BIP report in Oracle integration, our job is to create one integration and pass the data to the BIP report. So BIP report will read the data from the Oracle integration and it will create the Excel file and return the response. So this is the basic concept using which we will be demonstrating today's use case that is how to generate the Excel file by using only Oracle integration and BIP report. In order to achieve this use case, I have highlighted three points using which we can generate the Excel file with the help of BIP report based on integration data. First and the foremost thing is we have to create a data model which can understand the data which is sent from the Oracle integration. And then we have to create a report based on the data model. Now, in order to make the data model understand the data what is sent from Oracle integration, we have to create one sample XML file and tell what data we are going to send to BIP report. So in the BIP report, when we create any data model, if I go to the data model over here, I have already created a sample data model over here. So when we go for the data set over here and click on plus, we are having one option that is XML file. So here we can provide the name. Either we can look for the shared data source or we can upload the file from our computer. So we can upload the sample file that what we have created in our computer. I have created this sample file and I am telling that my rows are containing the data for the employees. That is an employee can have an ID, name, age, salary and the location. So such kind of sample XML file you have to create and you have to upload it over here. That's it. Provide the name and upload the file. I will show you the data model which I have created. I will click on Excel file and click on edit. I had provided for this data set which is based on the XML file, the name and the XML sample file. That is what I have shown over here. The same I have uploaded over here. So that's it we have to create with this data model. So before I go ahead with the report, how I have made use of the report based on this data model, I will give you a short glimpse on what I am trying to achieve in this use case. I have created a table over here in my database that is the employee table and which is having the ID, name, age, salary and the location and I have inserted few employee records in my database table. For your information, I have made use of the autonomous transaction processing database in my Oracle Cloud tenancy. So if I query, I am seeing those many employees. So my goal is I will create one integration which will read the data from this ATP database table and it will generate an Excel file if you see it over here. It has generated one Excel file with the data similar to what I have seen over here. So this is the use case which I am going to demonstrate in today's class that is by making use of Oracle integration and BIP report. So integration will read the data from this table and it will pass that data to the BIP report and BIP report in turn will generate this Excel file with the data what you see over here. So I have shown you my data model, how I have created the data model and the sample XML file which I have uploaded in order to create the data model which is based on the XML file data set. So this part is done. I have already shown you my table structure, how it looks like and what is my output that is in the Excel file I am expecting from the BIP report. Next step is we have to create a report. So one of the option is straight from the data model. As we had seen in our BI Publisher course, when we create a data model, we are having one option to create a report. We can click on this, create report. 
I have already created a report. Let me show you the report. If you see over here, my report is based on the data model which I have shown you. So just make sure the output default format is .xlsx in this drop down. So you can have n number of formats in whichever format you want to have, you can have a look at this. So the default format I am selecting .xlsx. So once you create a report based on the data model, you can just click on view report before you go ahead and create the integration. So when you click on view report, it will ask you to download the file. I will tell this is the sample file 001.xlsx and click on save. So this report will show the data which is based on my sample data what I had provided in the XML file that is this one which I had uploaded while creating a data model. So this is the data based on which it will show the report. But at runtime whatever integration is passing so that we will see in the report output similar like what you see over here. Let me close this file. So once you have created a data model that is based on the XML file that is this one and once you have created a report so point number one is done that is we have created a data model and the report which can understand the data that we will be sending from the integration. Next and the most important thing is integration. Let me go to the integration now. I have already created the integration. I will demonstrate how I have created this integration step by step but before that I will demonstrate this integration by running the integration instance. I have exposed this integration over a REST protocol and in the body or in the request it is accepting a report path that is this report path it is expecting. I am giving the report path and clicking on run. So what this integration will do is when we click on run it will read the data from our table it will create one XML file and it will populate all the data what it has read from the table and it will pass to the BIP report and in the response it will get the Excel file that is .xlsx. So in the response I am getting the xlsx file if you see over here I have requested for xlsx in the attribute format so if your default format is not xlsx you can explicitly tell that I am expecting xlsx. And in the report data, I am getting the Excel file in the base64 format. The same, I am displaying it over here in the response. So when we convert this base64 to a binary or a file, we can see that it is a Excel file. So one more option we already have in the integration that is in the advanced properties under the XSLT or in the assign action, you will see there is a function called decode base64 to reference using that you can convert any file or base64 content to a file reference and you can write to FTP or you can pass it in a request header in any of the APIs if you want to pass to the third party applications. Let me copy this base64. You can make use of any base64 to file converter online tools. Click on decode base64 to file. Let me download this file. I will download this file as test excel file dot xlsx click on enter let me just open this if you see it has created a excel file with all the data what we have in our database so integration has read all the data from this table and it has sent to the bip report using the xml file that is the sample xml file and BIP report in turn generated the Excel file and it has returned the response back to integration and same we are displaying. Now let me walk you through the integration. So this is a very simple integration which I have created. I have exposed this integration over a REST protocol, the request and the response sample I had shown already during the demonstration. So the next step is it is getting the data from the database that is this one. I have created a employee table in my ATP database and all the data what we are seeing over here we are fetching in this step. Suppose if you are having a huge data then you can generate a logic where you can read the data from the database in a chunk, generate the excel file and you can generate the VIP report in a chunk manner. So once you have read all the data from the database, your next step is you have to make use of this stage file action in order to generate the XML file. So what we will do is once we read all the data from the database, our goal should be to generate this XML file because we have created a data model that is based on this XML file. 
So if you are passing the data in the XML file format, then only our BIP report or the data model can understand what we have sent. Suppose if you send in CSV or base 64, it cannot understand. So the XML file, what you upload while creating data model and this file should be exactly same what we generate using the stage actions. Click on continue. So here we have to upload the same file which we uploaded in the data model. So that's it with this stage action. Coming to the mapper over here. So this mapper is simply looping over each and every record what it has read from this database and it is writing to the XML file using this stage file action. That's it with this mapper. So once we have generated the XML file with the help of stage file, our goal is to invoke the BIP report. If I click on this edit, so I'm making use of the same external report WSA service and the run report operation within this SOAP service. So that is the most common operation we use while calling any BIP report. Coming to the mapper, if you look at the mapper over here, what I have done is in the attribute format, I have told Excel SX should be the default or the expected file format what we are expecting from this report. Suppose if you have set the default format in your report, then it would be fine. Absolute path I had shown you during the demonstration I am providing in the request. Next, coming to the report data, this is the most important thing. So we had made use of the stage action which will generate the XML file that is based on this format. So the stage file action, that is the right action, you will get a file reference, the same we can pass it to the report data. So while reference, you can make use of base64 because this report data field within the run report operation in WSS service supports only base64. Just make sure you convert this file reference to base64 before sending the XML file data. So that's it with this payload and this is minus one obviously. So once we send the XML file, what we generated with the stage file to the BIP report, it will return the response that I am mapping it over here. Suppose instead of just returning the response from the BIP report, if you want to write that file to FTP server, then you can convert the base64 response from the run report service that is over here. We will be getting a report byte. So this will be in a base64 format. You can convert that to a reference and you can right to FTP server, you can send as an attachment in an email. The use cases could be numerous as per the business requirement of your customer. So this is how by making use of just Oracle integration and BIP report, we can generate Excel file seamlessly and with less time. Again, we want to emphasize that using Oracle Cloud Function is the best suitable way in order to generate the excel file or in order to read the excel file in oracle integration so you can use this method that is using the bip report only in case if you are not comfortable in oracle cloud functions or you lack the necessary skills but make sure after the initial project go live you replace this bip report logic with oracle cloud functions so that will be a very good solution in terms of implementation from customers perspective